Today we'll be taking a look at a bunch of amazing mods that I found but just couldn't fit into a single video. This is Mod Mashup. And the first mod we have is the Deployable Force Shield. Now this is actually a mod that works with Vmanip, something that is constantly getting updates and I am just loving this mod. This is a force field shield that will protect you from bullets. It also doesn't allow your bullets to pass through. It's pretty easy, all you have to do is just bind it to one of your keys, and once you do that, press that key, you'll have an awesome animation. You don't need Vmanip for this, but it does really make the experience 100%. Now enemies can still pass through the force field if they run through it, so be weary of that. You're not Iron Man, but it's still really awesome to have with you any moment. Whatever weapon you're using, you have this awesome force field. Sticking with Vmanip, next up we have the armor plates. Now this is really really cool have you ever been in a moment where you're like damn i wish i had armor this is going to really help you so you get these armor plates you bind it to a key and once you do do that press that key to see how much plates you have then you hold it to apply the armor plates and each plate gives you 25 armor once you have these plates on you can get hit like normal and it acts just like armor and then of course to get more plates you can spawn them pick them up you can hold up to five and then just go ahead and keep replacing your armor i'm loving these vmanip add-ons guys super super cool and this is a great addition to the already great library of vmanip mods next up we have the levitation grenade this is a swept that you toss and it pretty much defies gravity once you throw it Every object that is nearby that can move that's not bolted down will be lifted up into the air, having anti-gravitational properties, and then after a short duration, fall back down. Now this will also affect NPCs, and the cool thing is, they'll fly up in the air, they'll ragdoll, but then once they come back down, they'll just stand right back up. However, if you shoot these NPCs and kill them while they're in their ragdoll state, they will not come back and if you're like Odessa in this case your corpse will be stuck into the ceiling which is just hilarious super cool little mod though not a whole lot but definitely fun to mess around with and one I definitely recommend next up we have the Terraria Terra Blade Swep now I don't know about you guys but I love me some Terraria and this is a pretty cool add-on it has an enraged mode and a regular one as you can see we have father gregory here and it's pretty strong he is a tough nut to crack and we defeat him within just a few of the shots now these projectiles can do a lot of damage but they're especially good against what do you know the terraria npcs these will just shred through the npcs i was having some difficulty with the guardian but the other two that I fought, as you can see with the destroyer, just got demolished. All those body segments instantly destroyed. Such a good add-on if you're fighting the Terraria NPCs and you just want to feel super overpowered. This is the weapon to use it. There's also some other amazing Terraria weapons, but this was one I really liked. So I definitely recommend you to go check it out. Next up is a very interesting mod. So I know that the blood system can be a very wonky kind of thing in Gary's mod. This is supposed to fix that and make it more realistic we have a dynamic blood placement mod and what this does is when you shoot the bullet holes in the splatter will come out where you would expect it to be and it won't be so linear now me using a pistol in this case isn't a very good representation of the mod however you guys kind of get the idea it's it's very simple but still really cool to have also going along with this is an amazing blood mod look how good this blood looks and it really goes hand in hand with the dynamic blood placement mod so i recommend if you get one that you would definitely get the other and last up guys this is going to be a very interesting addition i wanted to really switch this series up i'm going to feature a map that i think just stands out above the rest Every time I do one of these videos, we're going to have a map that we feature at the end. Some of you guys wanted map showcases, and this is Desert Bus Deluxe. Desert Bus was a video game that came out for the Sega CD, and it was kind of a tongue-in-cheek style game where you would have to actually drive all the way through the Nevada desert, and it was like an eight-hour drive, 165 miles of desert road. There's also some cool functioning 
things like once you start the bus and it starts going it'll always veer just a little bit to the right this thing probably needs an alignment but uh, it's your job to move the steering wheel to stay on the road for that whole 165 mile trek it's pretty fun to just get into the seats I can imagine having like 30 friends if you have that many I don't but if you have 30 friends on a server you can all just get on this bus there's some pretty cool sightseeing to do Looking out the windows, there's a bunch of random events that happen. I didn't drive the entire thing. However, the max speed of this vehicle is only 45 miles per hour. You do get a cool rear view mirror, and if you just so happen to go too far to the right, maybe something caught your attention or your friends were being funny in the back, you will unfortunately destroy your tire and you'll have to get out Fix the tire by mashing the hell out of your use key until eventually it is fixed and you can get back on the road. This game is very, I guess, infamous for being <laughs> a bit too literal. It's supposed to make fun of simulator games, but an amazing map, guys. Definitely check it out. Super fun. And that is all the mods in today's video. Pretty short video, I know. I try to really get these out there to show you guys, but let me know what you think about the video, what you think about how I took the series. It's not too different, but I think it's much better than it used to be. Let me know down in the comments below, and also leave a like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And all the mods, of course, will be in the description. I'm also gonna try out this new chapter feature where you guys can skip to certain chapters if you wanna see a, a certain mod. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video, and until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.